morning all of you in this session i'm going to explain about the uh, design formulas for uh, design of uh, shock couplings already we know that uh, couplings are used to connect or transfer power from one shop to another shop so couplings are used to join two shops okay so in this session i will explain uh, about different types of couplings used for uh, shops and also how to design a couple coupling okay in this session i will explain how to design here you can observe this is a coupling okay so this coupling is used to join two shops okay here the example is uh, this shop is uh, for a generator this shop is for motor okay you can also here observe this uh, red color uh, machine element is called uh, coupling okay shop to couplings are classified into two main groups that is a uh, rigid coupling and uh, another one is uh, flexible coupling rigid couplings uh, further classified into sleeve or muff coupling clamp or split muff or compression coupling and third one is a flange coupling again flange coupling subdivided into protective type of flange coupling unprotective type of flange coupling and solid flange or marine flange okay solid flange or marine type of flange coupling okay these all are uh, rigid couplings okay now coming to the flexible couplings flexible couplings uh, also divided into uh, bushed pin type bushed pin type flexible coupling bushed pin type flexible coupling also known as uh, modified flange coupling okay modified flange coupling or bushed pin flexible coupling and second one is uh, universal coupling universal coupling also known as uh, hooks joint okay hooks joint is a important uh, machine element or transfer the power for automobiles old hand coupling okay so these three are the examples for uh, flexible couplings okay now coming to the rigid couplings rigid couplings is uh, used to connect two shops which are perfectly aligned okay you, you have to underline this uh, word perfectly aligned following types of rigid couplings are important from the subject point of view okay perfect aligned means uh, this one is a uh, shop one this is a uh, shop two these both are having same axis okay both axis x of shop 1 and x of uh, shop 2 both are in collinear okay so collinear means uh, both axes are coincide with each other okay this type of alignment is called uh, perfectly alignment okay for this type of uh, alignment connections we are using rigid couplings okay so rigid couplings uh, sleeve or muff coupling clamp or split muff coupling or compression coupling flange coupling again flange coupling or further divided into protective type of flange coupling unprotected type of flange coupling and solid flange coupling okay these are all our examples for rigid couplings okay so and uh, next one is uh, flexible coupling 
flexible coupling is used to connect two shafts having both lateral and angular misalignment. Okay. Flexible coupling is used to connect two shafts having both lateral and angular misalignment. Okay. You have to underline this line. Lateral and angular misalignment. Lateral and angular misalignment. You have to observe this diagram. This is the shaft one. This is the shaft two. Okay. The axis of the shaft one is like this. And uh, the axis of uh, this shaft two is like this. These both are not in collinear. Okay. So these two lines are having uh, some angular angular alignment. Okay. You can observe here. Uh, this shaft 2 and shaft 1 having some uh, misalignment. Okay, this mis this misalignment is called uh, angular misalignment. Okay, so for this type of connections, we are using uh, flexible coupling. Following types of flexible coupling are important for the subject point of view. Push pin type of flexible coupling. This one also known as uh, modified flange coupling. Push pin type of flange coupling also known as modified flange coupling. Okay. And the second one is the universal coupling. Universal coupling also known as the hooks joint. And third type is the old ham coupling. Okay. These three are examples for uh, misalignment, angular misalignment uh, couplings. Okay. Now uh, you can observe the animated view of uh, coupling. This is a muff or a sleeve coupling. Okay, muff or sleeve rigid coupling. Okay, this is a sleeve. This hollow shaft is called a sleeve, and this one is a gib head key. Okay, these two are the shafts. Okay, this is green color and. Uh, Red color uh, rounded shafts. Okay, this is the <coughs> once again, this is a solid shaft, <coughs> and this one is a halo pipe. This halo pipe or a halo shaft is called sleeve, sleeve or muff. Okay, next. Uh, Second type is a split muff coupling. Okay, here the sleeve or muff is divided into two halves. Okay, and uh, this one is uh, one half, this is another half, bottom half, this is top half. Okay, these uh, two halves are joined or connected by using uh, bolts. Here you can observe the animation of a split muff coupling. Here these two are the shafts. For joining these two shafts, we are using this split coupling. Okay. Here I am joining the two shafts. Here I am placing the two halves of the split coupling. After that, I am inserting the keys. Okay, after that, I am, uh, I am fastening the couplings by using uh, bolts. Okay, this is the diagram. Dimension view. Now, this is a third type of coupling that is a flange coupling. Protective type flange coupling. Protective type flange rigid coupling. Okay. Yeah, these two are called flanges. This one is a right side flange, this is a left side flange. Both are having same size and same dimensions. This one is a hub. Okay. 
here the shaft is inserting into the hub and also we are using key and the, this one is the second shaft this second shaft is inserting into the second flange now these are the bolts and nuts This one is the this one also flange coupling, protector type flange coupling. And this one is a solid flange, solid flange coupling or a marine type flange coupling. Here you can observe the shape of a solid flange. Okay, and uh, this one is very important. This is a modified uh, shape of a flange coupling. Okay, this one also known as a bushel pin flexible coupling, flexible flange coupling. Push pin type flexible plan coupling. Okay. Yeah, the shape of uh, these two flanges are similar as uh, flange coupling, but the main difference is uh, these bolts. These bolts are different. In this case, uh, we are using copper bush bushes and rubber bushes for providing the small misalignment okay this one is the left side plan this one is the right side plan This is a dimensional view of a bushed pin type flange coupling. And another type is a world ham coupling. Okay, this is the right side flange. This one is the left side flange. Right side flange and left side flange both are having a, a rectangular groove. Okay, rectangular groove. You can observe here. This one is a rectangular groove, and here this one is also rectangular groove. After that, uh, we are connecting a rotating disc or floating type disc you can observe this red color uh, plate is called a rotating disc or floating type disc okay this one also old ham coupling This is a dimensional view of a world ham coupling. And last one is a universal joint or a hooks joint. Universal coupling or a hooks joint. Okay. Here you can observe this universal coupling having a two U shaped ports. Okay. U shaped ports can observe 
by using this arrangement you can provide a, a angular misalignment you can provide angular misalignment This type of universal coupling is uh, widely used in uh, automobile industries for transferring the power. Okay, for uh, propeller shops, we are using this uh, connection. Okay. Now coming to the design procedure of a sleeve or muff coupling. Here, this one is a sleeve or muff coupling. Okay, this uh, this coupling mainly consists of uh, three components. That one is a solid shaft. Okay, left side and right side solid shaft. These two solid shafts are having the same dimensions. That means uh, the outside diameter of the solid shaft is uh, small d for both the shafts. Okay, so in this uh, case. We have to design a solid shaft for transferring the power. Okay, so the first design step is a solid shaft diameter. In this step, first step, you have to find out the suitable size of the shaft diameter. Okay, then after you have to find out a suitable size of key. Okay, so the, the second step is design of key. After designing the key, you have to you have to design a suitable size of uh, coupling cast iron coupling coupling or sleeve okay so in first step first uh, you have to find out the value of torque transmitted by the solid shaft already we know the formula for power transmitted by the shaft power p equal to torque transmitted by the shaft into angular velocity of the shaft okay At the angular velocity of a shaft equal to omega equal to 2 pi n by 60 okay from this formula you can get the value of torque t okay from from this equation okay from this equation you can get the value of torque okay so this is a equation number one Okay, after that, already we know the formula for uh, torque transmitted by the solid shaft, torque t equal to pi d cube by 16 into tau. This formula is obtained from uh, torsional equation. Okay, torsional, from the torsion, torsion unit, uh, the formula for uh, solid shaft, torque t equal to pi d cube by 16 into tau. Okay, design of shaft on the basis of uh, strength strength carried criteria okay so substitute the value of uh, torque t here okay here you have to substitute the value of torque t and uh, also the value of tau also uh, you have to substitute after substituting the value of t and tau you can get the value of uh, suitable size of the shaft small d okay so diameter of the solid shaft uh, small d equal to some uh, 20 or 30 or 40 mm okay like this okay you have to consider standard sizes okay this is the step one okay after designing the suitable size of shaft you have to design a suitable key okay so this is a gib head key always you have to remember the length of the key you have to consider length of the key equal to half of the sleeve okay so length of the key in each shop you have to consider the length of the key in each shop only okay don't consider total length for design so for design of key you have to find out the value of uh, width and thickness of the key for rectangular sunk key, width 
width of the key equal to d by 4 diameter of the shop divided by 4 and the length uh, sorry thickness of the key equal to t small t equal to diameter of the shop divided by 6 okay so but these are the, these are not standard values from catalog books uh, from uh, standard standard books you can get the standard sizes of the key dimensions okay now the length of key the length of the key always depends upon the length of the sleeve okay the length of the key in each shop the length of the key in each shop always depends upon the length of the sleeve okay so here i consider length of the key in each shop equal to half of the length of the sleeve okay here the length of the sleeve equal to 3.5 d okay length of the sleeve equal to this one is a sleeve okay sleeve or muff okay the length of the sleeve or muff equal to 3.5 d okay so these are the standard uh, values for design of the after getting the dimensions you have to check the dimensions on the base of uh, shear stress on the base of crushing stress so on the basis of uh, sharing stress or sharing strength the torque transmitted by the key torque t equal to length of the key into width of the key into shear stress induced in key into diameter diameter by 2 that means radius radius of the shaft from this equation you can get the value of uh, shear stress induced in the key material okay so from this equation you can up, you can get the value of shear stress induced in the key material okay now design of key on the basis of uh, crushing stress crushing stress or crushing strength the formula is uh, torque t torque transmitted by the key t equal to length of the key and uh, half of the thickness and uh, crushing stress or compressive stress into radius of the shock okay so here the value of t is obtained from uh, this formula okay length and width you have to substitute these values okay from this equation you can get the value of uh, crushing stress or compressive stress sigma c okay so these are the formulas uh, for design of key okay and the third step and final step in uh, design of sleeve or muff coupling is uh, design of sleeve sleeve or muff or a halo pipe okay here i treated as a halo pipe for this uh, sleeve okay i treated this sleeve as a Halo shop. Okay. That's why I am taking a formula torque transmitted by the sleeve equal to torque transmitted by the halo shop. Okay. So this is the formula for a torque transmitted by the halo shop. This formula is obtained from torsional equation. Okay. Here small k, small k is the diameter's ratio. That is the internal diameter of the halo pipe divided by outside diameter of the halo shaft okay here small d is the in, inner diameter of the sleeve and capital d is the outside diameter of the sleeve so capital d equal to 2d plus 13 mm okay now tau c tau c is the permissible shear stress for uh, material for sleeve material which is cast iron okay so here from this equation we have to check the induced shear stress in coupling or sleeve material okay from this equation you have to find out the value of shear stress induced in a sleeve or muff that is a tau c you have to find out this value okay these three are the steps for design of a sleeve or muff coupling okay now coming to the another 
coupling that is a clamp coupling or a spit coupling or compression coupling okay clamp coupling or split mop coupling or compression coupling okay this is the diagram okay the design of shaft is same as uh, sleeve or mop coupling okay the design of a uh, solid shaft is same and also the design of key the design of key also same as a uh, sleeve or mop coupling okay these uh, two steps are same and the third step is uh, design of uh, mop or sleeve the third step also same okay the third step also same as a sleeve or muff coupling okay these three steps are same as a sleeve or muff coupling okay only the difference is here we are using bolts for joining the two halves of the muff okay that's why here you have to design bolts clamping bolts okay so here the fourth step is design of clamping bolts this one is the additional step for design of split muff coupling okay for determining the suitable size of the bolt bolt diameter that is the db for determining the value of db you have to use this formula here torque t is the torque transmitted by the shaft is obtained from the formula Okay, sixty torque equal sixty p by two pi n. Okay, now mu mu is the coefficient of friction. Coefficient of friction between the clamps and shaft surfaces. Sigma t is the tensile stress induced in the bolt material. Okay, sigma t is the tensile stress induced in the bolt material. and small n small n is the number of bolts or number of studs used in clamp clamping and small d is the diameter of the shaft okay so from this uh, equation you can get the value of uh, diameter core diameter of the bolt okay db is the core diameter of the bolt okay n is the total number of bolts And small d is the diameter of the shaft, and sigma t is the tensile stress in the bolt material, and uh, mu mu is the coefficient of friction between the muff and and shaft surface. Okay. If the value of uh, mu is not given, then you have to consider mu equal to zero point three for design of. Uh, clamp or split mop coupling okay if the value of mu mu is not given in question then you have to consider mu equal to 0.3 okay now coming to the third coupling third type of coupling that is a flange coupling the design of a protective and un protective type of flange coupling and unprotective type of flange coupling or both both are same okay both are same so here the design steps also first three steps also same as uh, sleeve coupling okay so you can observe the diagram so the design of the diameter of the shaft first step design of a solid shaft is same okay and uh, design of uh, key also same okay here the length of the key equal to length of the hub that is l equal to 1.5 d here you have to consider length of the key equal to 1.5 d okay design of solid shaft and design of key and design of hub hub also same okay ni design of a solid shaft design of key and design of hub these three steps are same as sleeve or muff coupling okay so first three steps are same and here the fourth step is uh, 
design of a flange design of flange this is the flange okay so for design of flange you have to consider the thickness of the flange tf tf from here to here that is uh, thickness of flange thickness of flange equal to 0.5 d okay now tp tp is the thickness of the protective flange that is uh, 0.25 d okay here capital d capital d is the outside diameter of the hub capital d is the outside diameter of a hub hub or sleeve and tau c is the shear stress induced in the cast iron material which is used for uh, coupling and this is the formula for uh, torque transmitted by the flange okay pi by 2 d square tau c into tf okay this is the formula for uh, flange from this equation you have to find out the value of uh, shear stress induced in the coupling that is the cast iron for cast iron material the value of uh, this uh, tau c value always uh, should be in less than 8 megapascal thickness of the protective flange tp equal to 0 0.25 d for protective type flange coupling for unprotective type of flange coupling no need to consider this value okay you have to consider this value for uh, protective type flange coupling only okay the last step is uh, design of uh, bolts flange bolts so this is the formula for uh, flange torque transmitted by the bolts okay from this formula you have to find out the suitable size of the core diameter of the bolt db okay from this equation you have to find out the value of the db db is the core diameter of the bolt Okay, core diameter of the bolt. Okay, n is the number of bolts. Number of bolts always depends upon the size of the shaft. Okay, size of the solid shaft. Tau B is the shear stress induced in the bolt material. D1, here D1 is the pitch circle diameter of the bolts. D1 is the pitch circle diameter of the bolts. Okay, here you can observe from here to here. This one is pitch circle diameter of the bolts. And the fourth type of coupling is um, bush pin flexible coupling or uh, modified uh, flange coupling. Here also, the first four steps are same as uh, flange coupling. The design of shaft, design of key, and the design of a uh, hub design of uh, flange okay design of hub design of flange okay first four steps are same okay first four steps are same as uh, flange coupling here the main difference is uh, bolt bolt design okay here d1 is the diameter of the pin bushel pin okay d1 is the diameter of the bushel pin this bushel pin is different for uh, flange coupling okay from this equation you can find out the value of uh, d1 d1 is the diameter of the bushel pin bolt and n is the number of bushel pin bolts this uh, small n value also depends upon the size of the solid shaft Okay, tau B is the shear stress induced in the bolt material or a bushel pin material. Okay, here, here D1 is the pitch circle diameter of the bolts. Okay, and uh, coming to the last uh, model that is a uh, hooks joint or universal coupling. Here also the design of solid shaft is also same as uh, previous uh, couplings. Okay, the design formula is the same for the design of solid shaft. Okay, 
and here you have to design a sortable size of uh, pin okay this is the pin you have to design this pin so for this uh, design the formula for uh, pin is 5 by 2 dp square tau p into d okay this is the formula for uh, torque transmitted by the pin okay so from this equation you have to find out the value of uh, diameter diameter of the pin dp okay from this equation you have to find out the value of the diameter of a pin okay here small d is the solid shop diameter tau p is the shear stress induced in the pin material okay pin or bolt okay so dp is the core diameter of the pin okay so this these two steps are enough for design of a uh, hooks joint okay okay for work make a total of five types of uh, couplings and we what if a formulas or any explanation so you formulas to make a difference and the entity and day you got the way the and it key got a first three steps and a way and a hook hooks you and carbon remaining remaining any models key first three steps and a common go on this you know first three steps and a common remaining the steps mother remaining one or two steps mother different one day okay the problem is that you can solve it. Okay.